Hey guys, Fabuliki here today, and this is yet again another speed build, and this is round three of the same challenge I've been doing for the past couple of weeks. And this house is going to be a bit different to anything I've built once again. Um, basically my goal for this challenge, like the all the rounds of this challenge, is to build a completely different styled house every single time. And that's what I've gone for here. Now you can see me messing around here, I spent a lot of time trying to do this. What I'm doing essentially is attempting to raise the height of the walls on every level. Um, by the height of four clicks, or the height of, uh, height of stairs, like, I don't, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Anyways, I'm just raising the height of the walls, and I had a bit of time messing around trying to get it right. And you'll kind of see why, um, why I've done this when, when you see what I'm building, pretty much. I'm trying to make it, t the building taller, I'm trying to make it more, sort of, I don't know, in your face, kind of, I, I don't know how to explain it, but more... More grand, I suppose is a good word. So I've got uh, one turret over there. I'm building another one now that goes right here. So basically, obviously, I'm starting with the shape first, getting the height up. You can see I've raised all the walls up by a bit. And that's the goal. And I've got rid of some of the, the floor there because uh, it has or it, this foundation already came with the basement, pretty much. Um, but I didn't want to use the basement for a basement. And I didn't. So I pretty much just ignored it the whole time in this house. And at the moment, I'm making a, an arched bridge for the entranceway, right there. So basically, this is going to turn into a, a castle, in, in a sense. Um, it's going to be a small castle, of course, because it's not a very big foundation. But I think, nevertheless, it's pretty damn pretty damn cool, to be honest. I, I think it turns out really awesome, and I, I really like this. Because I've never built a castle before in The Sims. I've never tried to. Uh, and this was a real sort of adventure slash experiment for me to, to try it out. And I think it turned out pretty well, especially considering how small it is. Um, but yeah. So right now, once again, I'm trying to make an arch above the bridge. Although I realize there's a much easier way to do this in a couple of minutes. Um, so <laughs> I figured it out. So you can say I'm messing around with all this stuff. All this, what I'm doing now is like all this, uh, just changing of wall heights, doing all that kind of stuff. And you can see, there you go. I figured it out how to do it the easier way. <laughs> so then I do that straight away and fix it up. And let me tell you, because the wall height is higher than normal walls in the game, every time you want to add a wall or every time you want to remove a wall, you got to mess around with constrained floor elevation to make sure it works properly and doesn't mess it up. You can see here, every time I build a wall, you'll see me get the leveling tool and fix it up because it mucks everything else up. But hey, it was just part of the challenge and I, I think it made the outcome a lot more satisfying to see and I just enjoyed it a lot more. Than, than I would do just building a normal house, a normal house that I would, I would build. Um, but yeah, still going with the main shape here. I think it actually takes a, a fair while to get the shape going because I wasn't sure what a castle looks like, really. I didn't use any reference images or anything. This is all just built out of my head, just making it up as I go along. Um, just doing what I think looks like a castle. Um, and just, I don't know, just building it that way. Um, I found out removing the floor tiles from that spot there became a real nuisance later on because I had to put them back. Um, but it's really hard to put it back when there's no support. Uh, you can see I kind of I did half of it, but I've got to do the rest still. Uh, yeah, so I'm just building the back of the castle now, pretty much. It, yeah, it turns out to be a three-bedroom, two-bathroom home. Um, and it's pretty it's a pretty decent size. You can probably fit more beds in there. I haven't fully play-tested it, though. But when I put this house up for download in a couple of weeks, uh, I will playtest it before I do to make sure it all works. And and same goes for all the other houses I've built. Uh, I'll playtest them before I put them up for download, just to make sure that it works. Obviously, otherwise it's kind of kind of pointless. Um, so now I'm just kind of doing decorations around the, like the top of the castle, around the sides, making it look a bit more like a castle and that kind of stuff. Because otherwise, what what's the point of building a castle if it doesn't look like a castle? I suppose. So I'm kind of doing like a, um, I, don't, I don't know what it's called, but you know, you know at the top of castles how you see the different heighted wall. I, th I know it has a name. I don't know. I can't remember what it's called now. Can't, can't put my finger on it. Maybe I can whip up and Google Chrome and <laughs> find out. But yeah, so you can see I'm, that turret there on the right, or the, the big tall one just there I'm, I did the roof on, that is actually one wall, but I've made it two stories high to make it taller than an ordinary house would be able to be, um, which allowed me to make it look more castly. Um, and right now I was trying to put, uh, I'm trying to put the floor back now and it's, I'm finding it hard to do. 
Um, sorry, I'm just trying to search the name of uh, the, the top of Castle Walls. Of Castle Walls. Right. Um, yeah, so now I'm just doing all the stone, obviously. That stone is actually really annoying, because when you look at it closely, it, um, it repeats really badly. Actually, I don't know if it's that stone. Or maybe it's an... Because I, I think I change it quite a lot. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know. But we'll see in a bit. So I'm kind of using a mixture of the stone and the wood. And yeah, see, I've gone for a darker stone here now. But it changes quite a bit as I'm experimenting with how I want the castle to look. And what it's going to kind of show. And then later on, I kind of change it to have a mixture of all different stone textures. That turns out to be pretty crap. So then I get rid of that and... Uh, and change it um but yeah so I, I really do like the bridge that goes in there because it's a nice little curved bridge um right so anyways another more elegant and synonymous name describing a sawtooth shaped parapet is a crenellation uh the battlement uh, okay that's that's what i was looking for the battlement at the top of a car anyway sorry i've just googled that right let's close that <laughs> Um, yeah, so I was trying to, yeah, now I was trying to find doors and windows. I used those windows because they kind of looked like they could be castle-y. So I just gave them a stone texture around the outside so they look like a, a castle kind of window. And then I used some other small little wooden windows that have heaps of little, I don't know, crosses in them. Um, to make it look a bit sort of more traditional, I suppose, in a sense. At least that's what I was going for in the windows. I mean, I think in terms of building, like the wallpapers, the windows, the doors, all that kind of stuff, The Sims 3 is fine for building castle, but as soon as I moved into the territory of furnishing in the style of a castle, it became a nightmare. I mean, it would be a lot easier if I started, if I used custom content to create it and used download just castle sets and that kind of stuff. Um, I think the store, the, the Sims 3 store even has some castle stuff, but I just don't like to use custom content. I'm, I've never... Like, I know there's a whole bunch of awesome stuff out there, but I've never really been into the whole downloading thing because because, because of the fact that I like to share my houses uh, with the community. If I if I use custom content, then I've got to tell them they have to download this content for this lot to be able to work. And then if they don't, it's not going to look anything like what I produced. And I think it just adds a whole level of hassle to anyone who wants to use a lot or download it for their own, own uses. I mean, and... I think that's the, that's the better way to go about it, just using the, the base game content um, to build the houses. Because, I mean, when you download a house, you can change whatever you want about it. So if you don't like the furnishings, you can just chuck it out and put in your custom content um, and do what you want. And you can see here, I'm just playing around with uh, the wallpaper right now a lot. This happens quite a bit, actually, I think. Um, because I was talking to people in a live chat on the Mod The Sims website. And I was showing them pictures, getting feedback on that kind of stuff. They're giving me suggestions. Um, so it's, it's kind of a bit of a back and forth with them to try and get the best look of the, the castle. Um, and I thank all those guys for helping me out as well. Uh, thanks for the feedback. And you see here, this is where I did all this different stone texture. And then it looked really dodgy and disjointed when I did that. Um, so then I just changed it back to a single stone texture a little while after this. To sort of combat that fact that it didn't look good at all. <laughs> um, and of course I did the classic moat around the castle. I know I did that ages ago right near the beginning. But I didn't actually mention it. But I thought it was probably obligatory to do a moat around the castle. To make it look appropriate. And this is why I'm doing the underneath. Because at the moment the underneath is completely hollow. And didn't make any sense. So I thought I'd probably do that right now. Um, and it basically becomes like kind of a little sewer kind of thing I suppose. Well, that, that's what I was going for anyways. I turned it into a bit of a sewer. Um, and I realized I should have built the walls before I did the water. But I didn't. Um, and it becomes a massive hassle. So I just... I I kind of just took the short way out and turned... I just did the water in between and not under the walls. I make it nice and dark down there and put in all these brambles and, and whatever those things are called. I think it's called cattails or something. Um, put them down there to sort of... Yeah, and you can see, look look at all the leveling of the house you have to do as soon as you alter something below. It is actually a big hassle to do this, but I I still think it was really, it was definitely worth it. I mean, I, I do love this lot. It's something I've never done before as well. I'm, I've, I really challenged myself in that respect. Um, and it looks like I've moved onto the inside now, doing all the flooring and, and walls and stuff. I'm making the ceilings wooden as well. So you can see I'm using the, the main mixture of the stone and the wood to do this this castle because I thought that was 
an appropriate mixture. Um, it's kind of the old looking wood, uh, the old kind of wood texture I use, the kind of weathered uh, texture. Um, and then now, yeah, now I'm just doing the pathway. I kind of just move it up a tiny bit. Um, and you can see it there, it's kind of ramping up like that. And I kind of gave it a bit of a wobble to it to make it look a bit older. And just chucking some dirt under the uh, pond now to give it some... Oh, that grass, I, I don't know why it looked, kept going really darkly really quick. I couldn't get it to blend too well, but I mean, it was alright. I just put a bunch of fir trees around it. Um, I actually changed those massive trees later because I, I decided that the giant trees were bad because it made the castle look smaller than it than it should do. Um, because it's a castle, because you want, you want your castle to look big. So I then changed those trees later on to something smaller so that it didn't completely overpower the look of the castle. Oh, stairs are another thing. The stairs are massive because, because the walls are taller than your normal walls. They get, the stairs get really big, especially the ones going up to the roof, uh, which you'll see, they take up <laughs> most of the house. You can, see, you can see right there, so they get like that. And then there's got to be another additional section up here. And you can see there, it goes all the way along there. It takes up the majority of the, the house there, like the, the width of the house. Um, but that's okay, because it was still enough room to put in a doorway and a hallway and everything. I worked around it, and it seemed to work just fine, actually. But one thing I did notice is that I never actually put a roof over the top of the stairs. It kind of just goes outside. Um, it has to be dodgy. I might go back and fix that later, but obviously for now I haven't. Because I, I didn't think, I didn't, I didn't actually see that until I started taking pictures at the end. And by then I was already done. I was like, no, nah, I'll just leave it for now. I'll fix it later. Um, so yeah, now I'm building the bedrooms. So these two here um, are going to be like the single bedrooms, uh, which you can't really see right now. Uh, those two are the single bedrooms with the hallway, and then on the other side of the stairs is the master suite with the the ensuite bathroom as well. And I decided to give these all funky shaped walls and stuff to give it a more I don't know weird kind of feel, castle feel. I don't know some something unique, something different. Um, just because I just wanted to do like I've said multiple times, I just want to do something different, you know, and get, just get out of my comfort zone. Because if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, then it's not going to be any good, is it? Well, I mean, it can be good, but I mean, it'll get boring and, and no, everyone's going to be like, lame. Now, the downstairs layout was actually kind of hard to... I, was, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how I wanted to do the kitchen and where I wanted to put it. And I was kind of messing around with it for a while. Um, one thing I don't think that fits in too well with this is the kitchen. Um, just because none of the stuff looks castly. Because there's nothing you can do that would look castly. Um and have a functional house at the same time. But I mean, I did my best. I kind of themed all of the furniture and, and all the colors and everything. Uh, there's quite a few statues in this, this castle as well. And I tried to theme it all pretty well. You, all the lights are the candles that go on the wall or the candle chandelier that goes on the roof. So that's that's in style as well. We've got wooden doors everywhere and all that kind of stuff. Well, obviously most doors are wooden, but like um, the kind of like wooden plank doors kind of styled thing, I suppose. Is what I was trying to say. Um, I couldn't find any decent outdoor light, to, outdoor lights that were castly. Um, so in the end, I just didn't do any lighting outside. Unfortunately, I, I did want to do some lights, but nothing really did, was was working for me. Um, yeah, so I here's the kitchen. I didn't use those counters. I used these ones. I think I just make them stone and wood, and then I play around with their position for a while. I didn't use that wood. Um, yeah, and it kind of turns into a little kitchen with a, a nice dining table at the back. It's actually, it, it like, don't get me wrong, I think it's a nice kitchen. It turns out to look quite nice, but I don't think it fits in too well with the castle theme. Is my only, that's like my main concern here, really, well, with the kitchen, to be honest. Um, I think the rest of the house is pretty good, though. I think it all worked out pretty well, except maybe the bathroom, because once again, like the kitchen, there's nothing really castly that you can do for a bathroom um with default content but i mean i worked around that i like like i did with the kitchen here i kind of just did textures and stuff that would match and something that would work and i struggled a lot right here in this situation um just trying to decorate this kitchen because there's actually quite a bit of like empty space where there's nothing there i'm trying to make something that looks nice um and the, the space is filled in because it looked really, really empty um, with, before I put anything in there. And then I, I discovered those like gargoyle things. I never knew they were in the game before. Uh, I mean, I think they came in a recent expansion pack, but I never saw them before. I was like, oh my god, these are perfect. And I chucked them up the top at the front of the castle. Because I thought it was so, so soothing to put it up there. 
Um, so I'm just still trying to find something to put in there. I think I put a plant in there, maybe? Not really sure. Can't remember. Uh, oh, okay, I just left it. Now I've moved on to, like, this is the main living room. Well, it's the only living room in the house, really. Um, and these are kind of elegant red couches. And that's kind of a theme I use later on. It kind of, like, elegance, uh, high-quality, sort of really luxurious furniture and and, uh, and that kind of that kind of stuff. Um, and that kind of carries through the house. And that's the first statue I place. And I place a few more statues later on as well. Um, and it's kind of going for an elegant, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of like a, this house is kind of like the, the furnishing is a mix between kind of Victorian and, uh, and I don't know, medieval, I suppose. But, uh, I figured that didn't matter too much because to be honest, it still looks nice. I still like the look of it. It's the, the furnishings are a bit Victorian, but I mean, like I've said before, there really isn't that much costly stuff in the game. So it's kind of, you kind of have to like, it's kind of a bit of give and take where you have to say, okay, well. There's only so much I can do with the content in the game, and I'm going to do my best. And that, that's what I did. And I really do like this hallway here, actually, with the, the kind of like little uh, lion things. The, I think they're like Asian-themed lions or something. I think. I'm not really sure. Then I discovered the floor was uneven. I had to fix that, and it was kind of annoying. And level it all out once more. Um, I did actually have quite a hard time furnishing this place. Like uh, It was actually... Like, trying to find decorations to fit in little sort of just nooks and crannies to fill out the house and give it a bit more character was the hardest thing that that I've had to do. No, not really. That, that's a bit of an overstatement. But, I mean, it was really hard to find appropriate decorations and, and space fillers and suitable flowers and, and, and plants and stuff just to put in the house and fill it out because there it... I don't know. It was just a bit of a challenge. But, I mean, I really did enjoy it as well, like... It was like, I don't know, if, you, if you're building houses, I don't know how many of you, you guys actually religiously build houses, like that's pretty much all I do with Sims, besides the Let's Play, I just build houses in the game, um, and this is the first time I've really kind of stepped outside of the box of what I normally do, and I've got to say, it's been really rewarding as well, and this house and the last house I did, the last speed build, though that because that house is completely diagonal, that's something I haven't done before either. This, this challenge that I'm doing on Mod The Sims has been one of the best things I've done on The Sims for quite a while, just because it's so different to anything I've done before. And it's really forcing me to, to be different and to make something that I haven't, I haven't ever made before either. And I really I really like this master suite here as well, um, because it's kind of in that corner turret, and you get this really nice sort of open room, kind of well, semi-circular, because you can't have circles, obviously. But kind of wrap-around room that sort of hugs the bed into that little uh, little turret of the house. And you can see me here playing around with paintings as well, trying to find something that might match. None of them did, really, but I just put something in to fill out the space. Um, and yeah, so the house seems to be coming along pretty well. It's almost done, I think. Um... Just got to do a bit more detailing in each of the bedrooms and do that bathroom there as well. I was trying to, I was trying to fit a bathtub in that bathroom. It, it didn't work at all. It couldn't fit it. Um, and I wasn't about to change the design of the house to fit the, the bathtub in. So, well, the design of the castle technically to fit the bathtub in. So I didn't. I kind of just left it. Um, and now we move up to the upper floors, I think. Or is there something else I've missed? I think we're moving up to the... Because we do a bit of furnishing in the top turrets of the house as well. I think I do a chess table, uh, an easel, and I think a reading reading tower as well. But at the, obviously at the moment I'm just finishing decorating the bedrooms. And I think coming up in a second now... Yes... Wait... Yeah, here we go. Now we're doing the upper thing. So we've got these three little towers that we've got. And yeah, so that one's... That's like the little chess room that you can use. And then... The other big turret I use for the the easel, and it's got a little sofa in there, I think, as well, from memory. Um, and then the last one just turns into a little reading room. It has, like, a little bookshelf and a single chair. It would be the ultimate peace room, where you'd be left alone to read in silence. Um, so that pretty much wraps it up for us here. Um, here are going to be a few pictures coming up now. Uh, I have fail to actually put them in the video now so I can't see them but <laughs> uh anyway so I'll leave you with that I'll leave it at that and you can just check out the pictures if you want or you can say goodbye so anyways guys I'm Flabaliki and uh thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time